Hey everybody, this is Ernie, and I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And today I'm going to demonstrate something pretty simple for you for Tech Tuesday, and it's just setting up a Google Alert uh, for you. So a Google Alert is basically just a Google search that uh, Google does for you, and then it'll email you anytime that that search phrase or that search word that you're looking for shows up uh, in any of their new pages that they uh, crawl into their search engine. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is just go to uh, the Google Alert setup page. You can either just go to uh, type it in manually at uh, google.com slash alerts, or you can just do a search for Google Alerts and go to that page there. And it'll take you to the management page. This is where you'll manage your Google Alerts and set them up. Right now I have two set up. I've had these set up for a long time actually. Uh, the first one I have is Fiery Furnaces. They're a band that I uh, really like, but they haven't put out an album in a long time. And so I wanted to be kind of notified anytime that phrase Fiery Furnaces showed up in a new page, uh, just in case they there was any news about them coming out with a new album or there was any kind of talk about what they were doing. Uh, if I tap on it, it'll kind of show me what uh, has recently come up. It's not always going to be perfect, as you can tell this uh, just the phrase fiery furnaces came up in another page uh, where people were talking about something completely unrelated. So you're not going to get 100% what you're looking for, but still it did catch uh, fiery furnaces five days ago, showed up on this new page and sent me an email and let me know. Uh, Carolina Panthers, that's my favorite football team. And so I also set up alert for it. That one's not as good because... Uh, for any NFL team, there's going to be a whole lot of talk, a whole lot of news going on about them. So uh, if I tap it, you can kind of see that these are just all the, the hits that it got even just today. So uh, sometimes you'll either have one where you don't get anything but every once every few weeks or even a few months. But then something like Carolina Panthers, you'll get several a day. But it kind of makes it easy to look, uh, look through and you can kind of see anything that uh, hit that that phrase for that day so it kind of aggregates all those pages for you to kind of look at quickly uh, if you wanted to set up a new one just in the uh, slot here where it says create an alert about you can just type in anything uh, that you want to type in and it would just set up that alert for you now if you want a phrase you want to put it in quotation marks and that means it's going to look for that phrase those two words completely together. So if I put macaroni and cheese, it's going to look for everything with those three words in a row uh, that, that are between those question marks. If I took away the question marks or the quotation marks, then it's going to just look for anything that has any of those three words. So that's kind of how you set up uh, the difference between a search phrase with the quotation marks and then just anything that has those words which wouldn't have the, the quotation marks. And so even me putting that in here, here is showing you a little bit of the, the results I would have got from it for today. And actually maybe I will set up an alert for that one because some of these look, look pretty good. Uh, but anyway, that's really the basics of it. It's really simple, but it's a way for you to kind of search uh, for things that you're interested in, keep up with new pages that pop onto Google with different phrases and keywords that you're looking for without you having to actually manually search for them yourself. Uh, and you can also have it to where it will send the results to you in an email like right here. Uh, if I tap the little pen icon next to Fiery Furnaces here, it'll bring this up and it show, I can set it to uh, how often. That means either I want like a weekly update, which is what I do with the Carolina Panthers since there's so many hits a day. I tell it to give it to me. Uh, once a week. Uh, but with fiery furnaces, it's so infrequent that I'd rather just have them tell me anytime that a new page hits that has that search phrase. You can also choose what kind of sources it can either be news, blogs, it, it, just kind of depending on if you want something more serious or if you want basically anything that people uh, might have uh, talked about. So, you know, if I went and hit blogs here, I might get some music blogs where people were rating their favorite fiery furnaces albums. Or, or something like that, but I don't really want that. I just want news of maybe when a new album comes out. Uh, there's a few more options to set here. 
uh, but you can really kind of narrow it down to as, uh, as much information as you want or kind of spread it out just maybe like have a weekly digest of what came up for that search phrase for the week uh, so very simple concept but once you kind of get started setting them up you, you'll see that it kind of makes your life easier if you spend a lot of time kind of searching for stuff on the web this will uh, hopefully make it a little bit easier for you so hope this was helpful and like usual if you have any questions go ahead and let us know thanks